concerts, charity events whenever there were an earthquake in 2015. The whole year, I decided we are not going to have any commercial event. Any event that we're going to have, we're going to do a charity part, like fundraiser part, and, and send it to Nepal or send it to the concert organization. So that's my motivation of you know getting into this business, not you know, the first one is my mother, and second one is what I can give back to the community. Wonderful. And again, food connects us, right? So you know what I'm saying? We have to be careful about being a super entrepreneur. I say, keep on working, regardless of what background you come from. If you have passion to start something, right? As you did, we can do it. And that story, that inspiration, I want all of us to learn from as entrepreneurs. Thank you. The big question I would like to ask you, my dear. Why would you be uh, in the entrepreneurship panel? 
Uh, are you sure? But so that me, I always saw myself as um, a non-profit professional. Nepal ma, but I think I grow very around the I am a school, 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 school. I mean, my family, after profession ma. Professional studies, multiple professional studies, and so on. So, in 2002, my tragedy my mother passed away. I mean, I think that this is the US, my team, and 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 this is the US, my team, अनि वो आनी त्याग गए बने था पर तो अच्छी त्याग वो महिला आर्टिस्ट हो रहा है हमने भेजना आती हो ना आप वहाँ नहीं अनि पूरा बायो अनि उन लोग के बने में आ आइए अब ये तो इंसर्जेंसी बात हो ना ले आमिर तो सब जना फॉलो मत हो अनि इतनी देरे इन्वेंटरी हो रहे हैं ये रे उनके बायरासे की आम अनि तेरी क्या रो मॉम मास्टर्स बन रहा थी मेरी यंगर सिस्टर वाज गोइंग टू कॉलेज माय अदर सिस्टर वाज जस्ट स्टार्टिंग हर करियर इन यूएस कहाँ लोग ये रिस्टिंग तो बेटी खाते ना है ना तेरे पे नाम ले रहा हूँ अनि ठाक तो आय बच्ची एन ए बन रहा है तेरी क्या तो थाउजेंड टू मैं वाशिंगटन आप यो चादर और उठूंगा और पेंटिंग ये पेंटिंग रहे तो सुनता इट लुक्स सो ब्यूटीफुल आई ब्रेक नेपाली कम्युनिटी ले इतनी इंटरेस्ट दिखाऊं बहुत डी रिस्पांस वाज अमेजिंग तेज पर चाहे वो मॉस सोशल वर्क करी रहा कुत्ते के रा अने आई वो इंवॉल्व इन केरी स्टूडेंट ऑफिसेशन अने माइंड मेरे को लाइक ये बने how about we do an exhibition in our uh, university? But in my university, my exhibition hold got in. Then they were banking on painting on it. The response was amazing. Then I thought, something will be inventory to suck you. This was a very well in power of Manga. Did you try it? Exactly. Then I got a good yogi. It is too responsible. That's how I started promoting. The word promoting is very important here. So I did. With JWDC, some of our talent. Especially, I added products with any new book rack or Maya skill Vikas Kendra Swami, WSDO, not into your hand weaving or so. Another product. And I have added third organization, Women's Foundation Manner. Women's Foundation, because you know, shelters for your women or all for your Nepal body for the displaced women or like that. And they added the idea. उन्हें शेल्टर जो उन्हें और बच्चा आता है और ये दे ट्रेन देम ब्रीड एंड देन दे आर पेड टू बी ट्रेन और ये गरीब सरकार भी चुका नहीं दे काम कर सकते और ये दे गेट पेड और ये जो आप उन्हें भी प्रोडक्ट्स और बेचा नहीं ब्यूटीफुल स्कार्व्स एंड अदर प्रोडक्ट्स तेज को प्रॉफिट को 50 परसेंट गोस बैक and 50% say it's uh, divided among the weavers. So when I heard all this, I was like so motivated. effort I started promoting those products in Pennsylvania for 10 years before I really registered as business in Atlanta. Now I understand why you're in it because you're just sitting here stuff about Exactly. So when I first started, like I could not call myself a business woman. So uh, it wasn't me. That's what I believe. Now I got like four questions. So next question I'm going to ask. Uh, before asking that, I would like to share a small uh, event. Actually, 
So when you have a nephew who's like just a teenager, then it's like being a mother. So first time knowledge no about me. Hori say um my kosalakson here restaurant, ma the more time be so it's not just work. It's like somebody in the family said, like, you know, follow your passion and make it work. And then when you enjoy your work, you know, you'll be happy. So the restaurant man, the rich is one. You don't need to work. It's a, you know, social life thing. So all my friends come to meet me most of the time. Who the rich are only belong to the rich, but the social engagements are only put up on a certain level. But then that's a choice that you made. I decided to do it. Nobody forced me to do it. I decided to do it. I decided to make that commitment to the restaurant, my work. So. If your family and friends know you, then know, they know, they understand your commitment towards your work. And rather than, it's like, hey, you the only one who doesn't know that. I know who He's doing something productive. Something you enjoy, too, yes. right? That makes sense. Yes. I mean, you family got that thing. Plus, uh, my parents, they're in the business, too. And, uh, Business way, no, that they've been only come for that they've been media mom that they've always supported. They've always stood by me. The raw what you could have sacrifices when so the raw fiscal compensation, say when people say that you had a good event in your restaurant, they could go they give good reviews. And that makes up for it. So, what do you do to uh, make yourself uh, give that uh, Ramayana atmosphere? What makes you happy? Uh, I dance. Yeah. I dance. Yeah. 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 They work full time, they work and they go to school full time and after 10 they come to the restaurant and we start dancing till like, you know, 12 or 1 we start choreographing. I mean, all people say, I, I like nature. So whenever I have time, I try to go hiking or somewhere um, just to have peace of mind. But other than that, you know, dancing is what I do. <laughs> so we have to find our own strategy, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, they put a lot of fun of money at the mirror one night. One for better, okay, Tisa. Nalis for Sala, not only my last
So we have to find the way to help ourselves too. So how do you do it? How do you manage it? So, exactly. Well, uh, Pennsylvania, I used to write grants for federal grants. And in Tiyo Gaza, I used to write a co-worker uh, finance uh, director. So she was a little uh, older uh, children. And I used to write a little bit about it. And she used to write a little bit about it. Oh, I can't wait to go home and just put my feet on the sofa and just have a glass of wine. And then the care of me to say, we must go to the law, or could make a sort of thing. And this was the mother, okay, for the law, this was she. I had to go pick them up from daycare, and in order to get a lamb sass failure, or could be a full time job, so you know. And this was she. Office make up for that, but they've been able to shelter to both gender based violence, my company. अरे मालिक के बने बने ये रहा मेरो तो ही स्ट्रेस रिलीव और तो ही मेरो गाड़ी वो आई ऑफ तू डाजन बात तो चला रहा हूँ प्लांट और रूप ये रहा हूँ जिस पर जिस के को फ्रूट्स और रूप और फूल और रूप जो करना तो मालिक इतना बहुत पर्सन व्हाई डोंट वी स्टार्ट अ गार्डन इन द ऑफिस अरे सो दैट आम रो शेल्टर में आम महिला आम कुछ बिचारा आम रो कस्टर इन अ पक्का लाइफ का गार्डन दिखले और इन तक उदय लानी और ये रहा वी स्टार्ट इन अ गार्डन इन आम शेल्टर सो आम मेरो तो बेसिकली मेरो गार्डन ही होता ती हाँ के रो आये वाले पनी मौ मेरो के लिए सिंग में एक्टी के लिए आना कुरा छोव इस वजह से छोटू बोला ही आपने बोला ये उड़ा हर कुछ ना जाने का आंसर है यू से मेंटर्स के लिए आया हूँ और मेंटर्स को पूरा बता सही आज अ रिसर्चर व्हाट आई फाउंड इज वेदर इट इज यूएस कैनेडा नेपाल एवरीवेयर 50 परसेंट ऑफ द बिजनेस फेल ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ मेंटर्स स्पेशली जो वुमेन को
and might as well gain some educational knowledge. Whatever I have is practical. I was going to the college. Don't you wonder by I'm not coming to my bike, that's my point. In fact, you know it. And there are some friends who are already in hospital division. But I'm still learning every day, like Sita Jilai Moya Dixu, Sita Jilai. I've always seen her so calm. I asked her, you know, how do you manage to remain so stress free? And she's one of the most successful women entrepreneurs in Dallas that I know, that everybody respects. Like, I create how my boss, you know, without making too much noise, without, like, you know, being out there, you're still able to make a stand as a woman. And every, like, there's not a man that I know who does not respect her. You know, and not only that, we always, you know, it comes out with a respect. So, one of the stories, and then, like, I have, like, uh, Dr. Sharmila uh, here. She's one of the ladies that I look, look up to because, uh, though she's a dentist, she's so actively involved in uh, the social, uh, our community, giving back what she knows. And uh, I don't know if she's here, but um, I've been seeing her, I don't know her personally. Monica Manander, she is one of the very active person who's you know who's doing so much for the community. One but a hero, you know, it's five years is nothing in the restaurant business. I'm still learning, so I'm still learning with those people that directly give me knowledge or indirectly inspire me. So it's a learning process, and I, you know, I thank you all for for all the support. Thank you. And a person who has a son who has joined us and to my dear, there is a new research for entrepreneurship research for the wider. Only two pretty women are so that one in a mirror of the one of the main findings I found. Women are well, is a joke. Some interview with the Dallas for North Command, maybe interview with you. Only a lady, Jolie, a mentorship organization or Tin Goreco. Who versus who is supporting family member or the friends of the community back? My Punipari for a Pekina. Any Akusongo say better mentors of with supporters of one is he became more successful than someone who attended the mentorship center. So having that mentor matters, and it's not only getting a mentor for the job we are doing, but being the mentor also matters, right? Because one of the things that I attended last year at the same time at the UN, I got the opportunity to present my research there. And when they asked the question, many women leaders all over the world, they said that if I need, if I want to look for something to grow my business, that is mentorship. That is what we are not getting. So that is one of the real area. And thank you for organizing this today because you have many of you have addressed the matter of mentorship. So even after today, I wish, I want, I encourage all of you to be mentored to those women who want to start their business. So I would like to put the side request here from this platform. I could have a very dear Zilai, come in, 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 come Product private labeling, na boy dahil dito, na. Ang tis naman na dahil dere dito sa ayer, dere wesa ligara, eso kung ano ba? Kung dere ang dahil dito dito sa ayer, husband dito sa kapalit, nai kung ano ba? Isang question sa isip niya, di small business suru ko na sa ita may alis, ata may alis, di ako ano ba? May sopa lai ni rakin sa ayer, na. की बात है सीखे रखवाने को करें आप जैसे कि कॉरी रखवाने को अथवा कुछ ऐसे वाले को व्हाट व्हाट मेक्स द डिफरेंस व्हाट इस द मेन थिंग व्हाट स्टैंड्स आउट लाइक हाउ डू यू लर्न एक तो एक्सपीरियंस आपने कॉरी रहा एक्सपीरियंस गेन कॉरी रहा कॉरी को मेरो ब्यूटी इंडस्ट्री चले तो अब और � यो बिजनेस मार्च माला लाख रो एक्सपीरियंस आपको एक्सपीरियंस बोल रहा स्टार्ट करे रहो नहीं सही सक्सेस होना सबसे सबसे द विदाउट एक्सपीरियंस विदाउट एनी आइडिया रैंडम एक ही कहीं चोटी है ना इन्वेस्ट करे रहा कोई साल के से इन्वेस्ट करे रहा करे रहे सही बेडिंग बोल रहे हैं शाम वही ना अब 
वर्षमें ये वन पड़े तो उन्हें सब चल पेंट्रॉप्सी में सब चल तरह देरे विशाल फील्ड का देरा कुन फील्ड में बिजनेस स्टार्ट करने में दे सा त्यों फील्ड को कुन एरिया में करने में दे सा त्यां को डेमोग्राफी रो सब देरा इनफॉरमेशन रो देरा रिसर्च करे रहते स्टार्ट करने वाले बने माले लाख सा कोई कोई
I think that's what I consider uh, success because you still have the, the um, what do you call, energy or just to go forward to, to live life. I think that's what success is. Yes. So wonderful. And Nirazi, uh, what did you say? I'll tell you, Abina. Mayor, thank you, Dabani. End your day with positive thoughts. Jeepani, Jeevos, I'm the business man, lost us, Jeevos, but a positive third layer of three, book your day like end learning. Next year will be your beginning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Audience. 
My job is coordinate what they have put together for you, for you guys. Now, would you like to have a casual talk or you want a formal talk? Casual. 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 Thank you. That's what I thought. For casual talk, by the way, food was very good. <laughs> Did you guys agree? Yes. It was very healthy, fruits, veggies, um, chicken, fish. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for being casual. Now, we have a panel with panelists and the introduction is right here. I do not want to waste time because we have so much of health information that I want to share with you all. Is that okay that we move forward? Can I have the start with this story. I was traveling from US to Nepal. I was sitting in a plane. I heard the air hostess doing some safety measures. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard that too several times. But one thing struck me, and the story goes like this. She was sick in case of an emergency, if a plane crashes, there will be a mask, oxygen mask that will drop down. Take the mask, put it on your face, and then put it to your child. Have you heard that? Yes. So it kind of puzzled me. As a mom, I want my child to take care of. But if I'm not around, what will happen to the child? I want my child to be safe. All of us do that, don't we? We take care of our family first and we keep our needs for the end. I did not say anything when I was boarding off the plane. I went and asked courteously to the air hostess, what was the reason behind that I should save the child if I'm not around? Why should I put the mask on me first, not on the child? Do you know what was her answer? You got to save yourself first to take care of the child. If you're not around, child might live for one hour or two. Or even if he would survive, he will be disoriented. So mom to be around. So the topic for today is take charge of your health, and this is for women. So I wanted to encourage all the women here, follow the model of me, myself, and I. I'll leave on you when you get up. Please, spend some time, nurture yourself, so you could take care of your family better. You guys agree? Yes. yes. Let's see if the clicker is working. So we, we are talking about enjoy your journey to wellness. Do you believe that being healthy is not a fad or a trend? It's a lifestyle? Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. So you know, you all must have heard sometime there should be harmony in body, mind, and spirit. As a healthcare provider, I say there should be a harmony in body, mind, and lifestyle. You guys agree? A healthy lifestyle. You can move next. So a little bit about me, we can skip that, skip that. Now let me introduce a panelist. I know we all are nervous, you guys are doing great. I'm proud of you, I am very happy to be your moderator. When I was reading the bio, you would not believe my eyes were wow. So these are hand-picked panelists by Napolis American Chamber of Commerce. I really think you did a good job picking these experts. So we have Dr. Rashmi Kanal, because we don't have time. I'd like to have her raise her hand. Her bio is on the book. Guys, please read that. I really want her to talk about what she worked so hard on, breast cancer, the most common cancer in women. She's going to talk about that. The next is Dr. Rosie Rathandari, MD. And again, her bio is also there. She's a renowned rheumatologist. And she's going to be talking about autoimmune diseases diet that you should be on, and the supplements you should take. Again, everything ties down to lifestyle, and she's gonna impose that. And our dentist, Dr. Shramila Shrista, she's got the best of best 
oral health. As a primary care provider, I never thought that it was so important until I went through her slide. So guys, please stay with us. Very informative, very educational class we have here. Angela Prasai, our licensed master social worker. Now, we know we're going to go through all the health talk, education and all that, but if you do not have right tools to access a doctor, to find your insurance, to find the ways to connect those dots, it's all useless. And Angela Persai is going to help us do that. And in the end, the most important person is Raksha Dikari, who is going to talk about mind and body. We kept her in the end because she's got some nice sessions. So guys, stay put with us. Okay, Dr. Rakshmi Vandari, we already talked about that. Bio is in the book. Hers too. Dr. Sharmila. Do you guys agree with that? Yes. Health is well. So I really want you to take some message home today. Do not ignore this fact. Health is well. And now, health is what? Complete physical, mental, and social well-being. You guys agree with that? If somebody asks you and you say that, oh, I'm free of disease, is that being healthy? What if you're not mentally stable? What if you're not spiritually healthy? So we're gonna provide you a program. Thank you. So we're gonna provide you a program that's gonna tell you health is well. Now, this is a paradigm. If nothing but you take this home, you got the message. The paradigm goes premature death, and high level wellness. The panelists are gonna talk about awareness. They're gonna share their knowledge so you go home with disease awareness, educated so you grow in health. And people, when they don't pay attention to this, they have signs and symptoms that they totally ignore and they move towards premature death, disability. We do not want that. You guys agree with that? So the purpose of today's talk is educate and increase awareness for all the people who came in here, not only women, men and children as well, and improve the quality of life. Now some facts that should keep you alert. 70% of death in US happens because of chronic illnesses, high blood pressure, sugar, diabetes. And all this leads to poor lifestyle. Remember guys, we put the gift here. Whoever can answer the question will get a gift. And Smriti, Smriti G is going to write the name. So if you are answering, please make sure that you make yourself visible. Those are health packages for you to take home. And I also like to introduce our volunteers who will be passing the questions and answer cards. We get this interactive session. Um, Ashu, please spread the Question and answer card. Ekta, you guys have a pen. Write down your question and your phone. We will pass it down to the panelists. So let, let me ask you this question. While you're sitting there, ask yourself, do you have high blood pressure? Do you have high cholesterol? Do you have diabetes? Are you smoking? Are you inactive, overweight, or obese? If you have any of these, please go see your doctor. Your healthcare provider, get educated. Do not ignore the signs and symptoms of illness. Now, I'm gonna end this here because my part was to talk about preventive care in primary health. Healthy lifestyle is what I promote the most. What did I say? Balance, harmony in body, mind, and lifestyle. If you get that down, you're really gonna have a healthy life. Yearly physical exams, please guys, make your appointment, put it on your calendar, and go see your doctor. Routine blood work, do not undermine the power of screening test. Mammogram, Dr. Rosie Bhandari is gonna talk about that. Pap smear, colonoscopy, I'm sorry. So those screening tests are very important, and our panelists are gonna talk about what you need to do when you go for oral check, what do you know to do when you have some autoimmune disorder? What do you do when you have some female cancers? That being said, you guys are ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right.
Please, guys, give that, give all the panelists a big hand of applause because they really worked hard and they are short of time, so we need your attention. I would like to call Raksha Digari. Hi, everyone. Everybody awake? <laughs> let's stay awake. And more importantly, let's be aware. How about that? Okay, that light, please. Let's do something. Let's put everything that's in your hand, including water. I'll let you drink water. <laughs> Up front, no pens, nothing. Both hands on your knees, facing me or either way. Please close your hand, eyes. Start that. We're going to try something different, okay? Close your eyes. Absolutely everybody has to close their eyes. All settled? I'm waiting for those that are trying to take a seat. Continue to close your eyes. And if you're standing, please be aware and make sure you're not going to fall. Keep breathing. Now we're going to go ahead and take five long, deep breaths. And while you do that, I'm going to take you with me. Starting now. Take it in, inhale. Exhale with your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Take your time. Inhale once again. Exhale. One more long one. your eyes closed and continue breathing and please focus on your breath and yes mind is going to stay active and thoughts will keep coming just like a guest in the house just welcome the thoughts acknowledge they're there and ask them to stay away for a little bit because this is your time to rest this is your time to bring your mind to rest. Continue breathing. Focus on your breath. How does it feel when you just remember taking the long breath in and just throw it out? You're not thinking about any responsibilities, children, guilt, sadness, or anything outside of your body at the moment. While you continue to breathe, take your attention to your eyes, to your forehead, attention down to the shoulders, down to the elbows, to your hip area, to the knee, and to the toes. Bring awareness to where you are at the present. The mind's job is to wander off. It's you who has to bring it back and tame it to sit down to rest. Focus back to the breath. And slowly open your eyes. How did that feel? Very nice. Nice. And then no need to be so serious, people. Life is so amazing and beautiful, and that's why I'm here. By profession, I'm a project manager, uh, but I have because of my life, life experiences and this is exactly what I do, I've been practicing, I have become a motivational speaker. Um, and today I have some slides for you to talk about mind, body, and spirit. What we just did right now was take our break, give the mind a break from thinking and just stressing and feeling guilt and feeling that not being somewhere. I mean, here are we aware and are we really here? Or are we somewhere else in our mind? Bills to pay, 
exams to do, kids to take care of, this and that. Mind and body together is very functional, but is it a whole you? Not without the spirit, right? So when you're thinking and so emotional, your mind is wandering off and it's going all the other places but in present. And that's what we need to stay aware about. Are we aware of our emotions? Are we aware about what we are feeling and the things that we're thinking? We often hear we need to think before we speak, correct? I understand and practice thinking before I put any thought in my mind so that I can make sure it's completely positive. And that's what we should all practice. It doesn't come overnight. It's a habit. It has to be put in the behavior. And that's what we're talking about today, by taking charge of your health, your mental health. And that's where it's all aligns and comes in body, right? When your mind, body, and the spirit is aligned, can I go back to that? This is where we wanna be, you can see it. Um, spirit, mind, and body, do you see at the middle, everything, the balanced state of mind and body? That's where the awareness is. So idea is to stay aware and stay in the present. Spirit, do you need to Body needs to be cleansed and nourished, healthy eating. Absolutely take charge of your life. If you are eating right, you will be able to think right. If you think right, it's kind of like a cycle. Uh, it goes in peril, right? Mind. I absolutely am fascinated by how much we can do if we have control over our own minds. And that's what meditation is about. Meditation is not about sitting there and zoning out for an hour, but it's about being mindful about what you are thinking, eating, or, or the environment that you're staying in. Abhima is standing, I was like, Abhima, don't show me that you have a card yet. I still have so much to go. Um, It's not just mind that is in pain. When the mind is in pain or is at dis-ease, body starts feeling at disease, which is the disease, right? So it's about mind, body, and spirit up. Coordination. Studies show that mindfulness, which is also, meditation is one of the tools that we just practiced a little bit. Mindfulness is what we are talking about. Meditation is just a tool to get to that mindful state throughout. Um, all of these, Reduce fixation on negative emotions. Improve focus and memory, lessen impulsive, emotional reactions, and all of those. Improve quality of sleep. Release the feel-good hormone, dopamine. People ask me, why are you always so hyperactive and smiling? Well, that's because I think I have a high level of dopamine. <laughs> I don't know, I meditate a lot. I take time to sit down and quiet my mind. And I'm very, very, very aware of what I'm thinking. And that is what I've been helping people do. Okay, all of these things can go home with you. We can, do the, we can give out the slides, right? More importantly, what I really wanna do today is tell how fortunate I am to share this stage with everybody here. It's brilliant and amazing with these doctors. I, I didn't go to school to be a doctor. I'm just proud to be here. Um, and thank you so much, Smriti, Monar Sai, Baldai, and Suresh Dai, Avima, for showing me orange card, for giving us this opportunity to be here. And all these powerful, beautiful, empowered women that I sat there listening and looking at and feeling for. Great job to you guys, absolutely proud of you. Please stay empowered, please know what you're thinking, be empowered, Have be mindful, and love yourself, be kind to yourself. When you love yourself and you are kind to yourself is when you can actually be kind and loving to others. It starts here, right here, it starts with you. If you are taken care of and if you love yourself, 
it automatically falls in places. Then there's no complaints with the outside world. Thank you. Thank you, Raksha. You see how time constraint affects the person who's a motivator who's trying to release the stress, but she can't because she's under time crunch. So we will try to be on time, but I want you to take the message home. Be kind, loving, and compassionate to yourself. And again, you could do this if you follow the model of me, myself, and I. Nurture yourself so you can nurture your family, your kids, and your coworkers. Now, I would like to invite, I would like to invite our next panelist, Dr. Shukla. She's gonna talk about the importance of oral health. Hello everyone, namaste. Uh, today I would like to talk about the importance of oral health. Why is it important to take care of your mouth? Mouth is the window to our overall health. It prevents tooth decay, that is cavity. It prevents gum disease. It helps to keep your smile beautiful to boost your confidence, which is very important. And it improves overall health. So let me talk a little bit about cavity. So the main reason of cavity is dental plaque. Plaque is the yellowish white film that builds up on our teeth. So it's very soft. We can easily remove by brushing and flossing. But the plaque is the home of bacteria. When we eat food, the bacteria in the plaque eat up the sugar in our food and they produce acid. That acid attacks the tooth and causes cavity. So in this picture, I'm going to talk about how cavity progresses. So in the beginning, the cavity is very small. Look at this brown spot here. This is the beginning of the cavity. It only affects the outermost layer of the tooth. If we diagnose it early, we can fix it with a simple filling. But if you ignore it, or if you cannot diagnose it, it gets bigger and deeper, and it affects the second layer of the tooth. And eventually, it affects the innermost layer of the tooth, that is nerve. That's when we get the symptom like throbbing pain, hot and cold sensitivity. Most of the time, people come to the dentist when they have the symptom. And it's too late for us to fix the cavity with a filling. At that point, we have to do a complicated treatment called root canal, which can be very costly. So early diagnosis is very important. So this picture shows what happens when you don't floss our teeth. Toothbrush cannot fix the space in between our teeth. In order to remove the food and flag that gets stuck in between our teeth, we have to floss. And these cavities are the result of not flossing every day. So now I would like to talk a little bit about baby bottle syndrome. Look at the cavities all over the mouth. So baby bottle syndrome is the most chronic illness for children. According to CDC, in 2004, 28% of the children between the age of six months and six years had baby bottle syndrome. It happens when baby's teeth are exposed to breast milk, formula, or any sugary liquid for a long period of time. And we can prevent it by wiping baby's teeth with washcloth or having them drink some water after each feeding. And never put your bed, I mean, never put your little young children in bed without, I mean, never put your babies to bed with bottle in their mouth. So, gum disease is the number one cause of adult tooth loss. Again, plaque is the main reason of gum disease. When plaque stays in our mouth for two, three days, it gets calcified and it turns into tartar. Tartar is very hard. We cannot remove it by brushing or flossing. And again, plaque and tartar are hard for the bacteria that cause gum disease. So according to CDC, almost half of all American adults suffer from various types of gum disease, and this number is higher among South Asian community. This picture shows how gum disease progresses. Let me go over the picture before. So when you go to the dentist, dentist measures the depth of the pocket to determine how healthy your gum is. The pocket is the space between the tooth and gum. 
So normally in a healthy mouth, the pockets should be filling. Then you have gum disease. So look at this picture. On the healthy side, the gum is nice, thick and formed. The bone that holds the tooth in place is intact. Versus in disease side, look at the color of the gum. It's very swollen, red, inflamed, and the bone, we have already lost this much of bone. Once we lose this bone, we cannot bring it back. We cannot regenerate it. It's all because of plaque and tartar that gets stuck in between the tooth and the gum. So this picture shows how gum disease progresses. In the beginning, it's only limited to the gum. There is no bone loss. So this stage is called gingivitis. We can easily treat it with regular dental cleaning or proper oral hygiene. But if left untreated, it can turn into a serious form of gum disease called periodontitis, where there is inflammation of gum together with bone loss. This is mild periodontitis, moderate periodontitis, and severe periodontitis. Here, there is nine millimeter pocket and almost no bone. At this point, tooth starts becoming loose, and we have to pull it. Then again, pulling the tooth is not the solution. We have to think about replacement options like implant, braces, which are very costly. So like I said before, oral health is the getaway to our overall health. Uh, it may contribute to various diseases like endocarditis, cardiovascular disease. Um, several studies have showed that if you have a gum disease, there, then your risk of getting heart attack increases by 20%. Very important. Lung disease. And one important point over here, during pregnancy, our gum is already inflamed and swollen because of hormonal imbalance. And you know, pregnant women are more prone to gum disease. If we don't treat the gum disease during pregnancy, it can cause premature birth and low birth weight. Again, gum disease is related to diabetes, osteoporosis, Alzheimer's. So now let me talk a little bit about oral cancer. Cancer of oral cavity is a major public health problem. Approximately 300,000 new cases have been reported annually worldwide. And again, it's more prevalent in South Indian community due to the habit of chewing pan, a little nut, tobacco, etc. And you know, like, just like how you go for a mammogram to rule out I mean, breast cancer, you have to do something to rule out oral cancer too, right? So what do you have to do? All you have to do is, <laughs> you have to go to dentist for regular dental checkup and, you know, early detection saves life. I'm going fast, sorry. So, what do we do to prevent all the problems that I discussed? It's very simple. All you have to do is brush your teeth at least two times a day with fluoride toothpaste and floss your teeth every day before that time. When you go to the dentist, they will teach you how to brush and floss properly. And again, eat healthy diet and limit sugary snacks and drinks. Very important, schedule regular dental checkups and cleaning every six months starting from the age of six months onward. This is very important. A lot of parents don't know when to take their child to the dentist. According to American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, you have to take your child to the dentist between the age of six months to one year. At this time, the goal of the visit is not to diagnose cavity or gum disease, but just to educate the parents about how to take care of their children's teeth. And one more, if you have night grinding habit, snoring habit, or sleep apnea, then you should visit the dentist. They can fabricate an appliance for you that can take care of your problem. Thank you so much for listening, and thank you so much, organizers, for giving me the opportunity to speak to you. Thank you, Sarmila Ji. You see how disciplined my panelists are? You show them their card, they sit down. One more round of applause for them. <laughs> Thank you. He had a lot of uh, information, but because of the time constraints, we're gonna let it go. And remember, the question cards are in front of you. You have pen, write down the questions. We want to do interactive panels, so you have questions to ask her in the end. And the questions to win the gift for today will be, what is the number one cause of dental problem? Smriti ji, please count the winner. Number one cause of dental. Everything.
What, but the answer is something different. Not brushing. Not brushing. Not flossing. Number one cause of cavities is sugar. Listen from the class. Not visiting the dentist regularly. <laughs> Did somebody say that? No. Okay, so we'll back the question. Nobody won. So the next question, and then we'll move on. The next question is. What is the best time to take your child to the dentist? Six months to one year. What is the range? Six, six months to one year. Okay, since we have too many answers, should we drop the question? <laughs> Let's see what the dentist have to ask you. What is the number one cause of adult tooth loss? Not flossing. Not flossing. I just said that. It's, it's gum disease. Gum disease. Gum disease. Gum disease. Please announce your name for the prize. <laughs> Should I drop the question again? We have to move on. Remember guys, we have a time card sitting right there. So the winner is? So we, you both are going to get the gift and I'll have Samila D do that. Now we will move on while she's distributing the gift. Let me invite Dr. Rosie Raghavatari. Autoimmune diseases. Good afternoon, everybody, and namaste. I'm Dr. Rosie Rajpandari. I'm a rheumatologist at Texas Health Youth League. I'm very happy and pleased to be here today to talk about taking charge of your health. Today, I'm going to focus mainly on arthritis because arthritis is the number one leading cause of disability in the United States, and it affects women, men, children, and the elderly. All of us in this room, at some point or the other, either have suffered from arthritis or are going to suffer in the future. So therefore, we're going to talk a little more about arthritis. I'd like to start by showing you a picture of a normal joint, which includes two bones, and in between the bones are a normal and healthy cartilage. This cartilage acts as a cushion, and between the two healthy cartilage is the fluid called the synovial fluid, which helps act as a lubricant. In arthritis, what happens is that there's destruction of the cartilage and there's lack of the normal synovial fluid along with damage to the ligaments and tendons. And this is what leads to joint pain, swelling, and inflammation. Did you know that there are more than 100 different types of arthritis? And to classify them in the broadly, we can classify them as degenerative arthritis, also known as osteoarthritis. This is the arthritis that happens due to wear and tear. It's also a part of aging. Uh, certain professional people, like sportsmen, can also have injuries. So if you've had trauma in the past, you may develop early osteoarthritis as well. It's also genetic, so if you've had parents whose hands look like this, it's very likely that you may also develop osteoarthritis. The other broad classification is inflammatory arthritis, and this happens in children. It's called juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. In adults, it can cause deformities, and therefore, you have to see your rheumatologist for early diagnosis and early treatment to prevent these kind of deformities. You may also have an arthritis where the uric acid is very high, and this is called gout. There can also be skin rash such as psoriasis and arthritis called psoriatic arthritis. And certain infections can also cause arthritis, just like we discussed about gum disease and gingivitis. This has also been shown to be a reason for rheumatoid arthritis. So if you have pain or arthritis and you want to know exactly what kind of arthritis you have, please see your doctor, please see your rheumatologist. So you can have a full detailed history, a physical examination, appropriate blood work, and x-ray. The main goal is, again, early diagnosis and accurate diagnosis along with early treatment so that you can have a good quality of life and prevent joint deformities and irreversible damage. So a lot of people ask me, can jogging make my arthritis worse? What do you think? 
work slowly more depends. <laughs> okay. So the answer is jogging, exercising, stretching, and going to the gym is actually recommended. It's not going to cause any harm to your joints. If you do it as tolerated and in a timed manner, it actually helps increase the circulation in your body, it helps strengthen your muscles and prevents joint disease. So this is absolutely recommended. There are also some supportive devices that you can use like braces to help with the um, exercise. When medications are not the only treatment, there are other um, uh, methods that you can use such as intraarticular injections and so steroid shots are also helpful to help treat the arthritis. Does food affect the arthritis? What do you think? Yeah. Absolutely. You are what you eat. So there is a very important arthritis diet that helps to keep your joints healthy. Uh, it is different for different kinds of arthritis, but in a nutshell, lots of fruit, lots of vegetables, plenty of water, and lowering the refined sugar in your diet is very important. If you have gout, then you want to limit the protein intake in your diet. You want to limit the alcohol, and things like red meat and seafood should be avoided. Some other supplements that you can take, which are over the counter, are glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate. This is very helpful for osteoarthritis. And then turmeric is also very helpful. It's anti-inflammatory, and we use this a lot in our Nepalese kitchen. Also, fish oils are very good. Another question for you, does cracking, popping of the joint, especially your knuckles, cause arthritis? No. What do you think? Yes. No. 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 Yeah. No. Okay. no. So the answer is false, because cracking your knuckles does not cause arthritis. All it does is release the bubbles that are stored in your joint. So it's okay. We have done studies to prove that cracking your knuckles does not lead to arthritis. And my last question, do you think it's true or false? Patients with arthritis can predict the weather even yes. better than the weather Yes. 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 So when it's a cold day like today, when it's going to rain, you can even predict that it's going to rain because your joints will start hurting. And therefore, it's actually due to the changes in barometric pressure that causes you to feel the joint. So to conclude today, I'd like to say, please, ladies, women, take charge of your health. If you are healthy, then you can take care of your families and your children. Please see your rheumatologist or your doctor. When you are hurting, when you are in pain, please don't blame it on aging or the weather or something that you did or something that you ate. Please see your doctor so that you can be correctly diagnosed, treated early, so that you can prevent deformities and irreversible damage. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, please do ask. Thank you, Dr. Rosie. Moving forward, I would like to invite uh, Dr. Kanal. Hello and Namaskar, everyone. Uh, my name is Rashmi Kanal, and I'm coming all the way from Pennsylvania, and I work at Fox Chase Cancer Center uh, as an assistant professor in, uh, uh, at Temple University, and uh, I also hold the position of Section Chief Leadership uh, at Chase Hospital. So basically, uh, it's my absolute pleasure to be here. This is a very different platform for me. Number one, because that's the first time I'm talking to my own community, which is a big deal for me. And number uh, two, I'm partly going to talk about preventative health in um, cancer. Because then by the time patients come to me, they already have cancer. So I want to take this platform to uh, kind of uh, encourage women to take charge of their health. And uh, also, you know, since I'm an oncologist, I see many, many ugly cases of cancer every single day. And especially if it affects a young mother with, you know, children and single mother or a single, you know, or daughter, you know, it, it really moves the family to a very different dark space. So I think, uh, you know, I should start by saying that, you know, you all should get checked at one time or the other. And it's very important to focus on your own health. So talk, you know, breast cancer in itself is such a big topic. I could spend days talking about it and I'm not going to be done, even with the prevention and risk factors, but now, kind of a few slides to go over the you know, risk so that you all understand what's your individual or personal risk for breast cancer and do something about it. Or even, you know, do a little bit of education to your family, 
who are back in Nepal because I'm, I'm failing my, myself, you know. I cannot scream at my mom to go get mammogram or pap smear because it, it starts from there, but I'm a big failure when it comes to that as well. But, you know, we should start somewhere, right? Let's talk about breast cancer. All right, so why do we focus on uh, breast cancer? Because in the overall, in, even in the United States, it's the most common cancer. In, in, men, in the men of you know, women, it's the most common cancer, and it's the second most leading cause of cancer-related death in women. Uh, so the first cause is usually like cardiovascular disease, and it's the fourth most uh, leading cause of cancer-related death in men and women, both. So this is the data actually from 2018, and uh, we follow SEER data. Uh, when we come to, you know, when you want to know the incidence and prevalence of breast cancer. Um, so as you can see, where's the pointer? This one? Okay, the pointer is not the same, I guess. So as you can see, you know, breast cancer holds, you know, 15% of annual cases, uh, it accounts for 15% of annual cases in all cancer diagnosis. And if we talk about cancer-related deaths, it accounts, uh, like, like for 7%, which is in a close fourth position in overall cancer-related death. So it's something preventable, because you know, we have a first you know, good screening uh, program called you know, uh, mammogram, and we're gonna talk about it, so that's why it's preventable, and the cancer-related death related to breast cancer is actually gone down more than 40 to 50% because of the advent of mammogram and education to people. So reason for breast cancer, I get this a lot from my patients, why did I get breast cancer, why me? So most of the time I don't have answer to it because you know, most of the time we don't know why we get cancer. Because it's, you know, we know that you know, there are a lot of risk factors that, that are associated with cancer, but if you talk about why, there are like multiple whys. So the answer is, you know, uh, it could happen because of your inherent changes in your DNA and we have no control over it, environmental exposure, and aging. So aging in breast cancer is very important because the more your age or more you're living, you know, 90 year old, if you're living up to 90 year old, you have more exposure to these like, you know, hormones that we, you know, that causes breast cancer. And if you talk about risk factor for breast cancer, just being a woman is the high, you know, is the utmost, you know, uh, important main risk factor for, uh, for developing breast cancer. And uh, you must have heard family history of breast cancer. I know that you will be asked if you go to your provider, do you have family history of breast cancer? Do you have family history of colon cancer? And it's very important to know that. Talk to your providers regarding your family history. Uh, when I say family history, it still accounts for five to 10% only. So this five to 10% is kind of hereditary. Um, so family history and hereditary breast cancer are a little bit different. Because if you say, you know, uh, hereditary is related to mutation in some genes like BRCA1 and BRCA2, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that we all know about BRCA1 and BRCA2 by now because of Angelina Jolie, right? So she had it, so she had mastectomy done, so we've heard about it, but it's good to know. And you know, more and more women, if, even if they come to me at age 85, I send them for genetic testing. Not for her sake, but for the sake of her family, because they need to know if they have, you know, inherent risk for breast cancer or not. And the other family history means like if you have family, First degree relatives, secondary relative who have had breast cancer, you need to tell your providers because that also accounts for your own um, risk for getting breast cancer. So uh, personal history of breast cancer, meaning like if, you, if you've had like a breast cancer in your left breast, then you actually become more uh, susceptible to get breast cancer on the right or in the same breast. So it also puts, a, you know, puts you at higher risk for getting breast cancer. Breast cancer. Non-cancerous breast lesion, I'm not going to go deep into it. And early menstruation and late menopause is also another cause for breast cancer. Why? Because you know, there's more exposure of you know, hormones, right? So other is not having a children is another uh, risk factor because when you have children, your you know um, breast cancer mammary mother cells they get you know mature and they kind of they stop reacting to a lot of like it can you know carcinogens or mutagens in the body. So not having children is another risk factor. Children after age 30, you know, uh, hormone replacement therapy. So this was a big deal like 20, 30 years ago. All the women were replaced at hormone replacement therapy for hot flashes, menopausal symptoms. And now we are very, being very careful, and Elena can count on it because I don't think we're, you know, we're prescribing hormone replacement therapy to, you know, women just, you know, because they need it, right? It's, it's, it's kind of related to uh, ovarian cancer, breast cancer. 
obesity. So why obesity is considered risk factor, right? So when you're obese, uh, so it kind of creates a state where there's more cytokine release, more inflammation in your body, and it will lead to like, um, you know, uh, not a lot of screen cancers, not only breast cancer. So the role of sleeping, you know, I was very amazed when I came to the United States, I had thought, you know, Oh, you know, women might be getting screening right at age 45. They might they know all about it. They're like modern, you know, United States, Western country. Because I've worked at um, the Beauty Cancer Hospital before I came here, and I was surprised. I was like surprised most of the time when you know women is represented with neglected breast cancer, huge fungating, big like 10 centimeter mass. But but I was really surprised that you know women still come to my clinic with 10 centimeter fungating mass here. So that's why you know. I'm really perplexed, but I think uh, that's the way to go. Why do we need role of screening, right? Why do we need screening? Because when you find cancer with the help of screening, you're finding it small. You're finding it small, and you're finding it uh, localized, right? So that's why it's very important. It helps you with the cure. So, <laughs> so it's just showing you the other card so I'm kind of. So early detection and cure, it helps. So if you have known history of um, your family history and genetic mutation, you might be offered early intervention like mastectomy and chemo prevention. So you, you need to talk to your doctor about risk factors. And the screening available is mammogram, MRI of breast, if you have a dense breast or if you have like, you know, a BRCA1 and 2, you're going to be offered this. And clinical breast examination, I want to spend one minute on it. So uh, it's a very controversial topic. To be incorporated in, you know, a screening program very routine, like maybe 20 years ago. But now, your know, self breast examination is kind of getting a little bit pitfall uh, because of unnecessary testing that it leads to. And you know, I think the physicians were kind of linking it up to, like, you know, patients to get their self breast examination, but they're not going at the right time. It has to be done religiously at the same time of the month, you know. And you know, same time of the month, and then you know, every little bumps are not cancerous, right? So that's why it was leading up to lot, lot, lot of invasive testing, lot of stuff. So that's why you know, nowadays US Task Force is kind of not advising against, but doesn't recommend self breast examination as a part of screening program. But again, if you're doing it, well, you know, it's not bad, but you know, I don't think it helps that much. So this is what helps, right? So if you're age 40 to 44 bracket. It's by choice, meaning like you can ask your provider if you want to get you know, a mammogram, you can ask your provider, it's okay. But you know, it's still not recommended, like by the book, it's not recommended. But if you're 45 to 54, screening mammogram every year is recommended. And when you're 54 to 74, every two years it's recommended. And beyond 75 years old, if your life expectancy is greater than 10 years, you still should get mammogram. Because I'm getting like, you know, like really elderly you know, breast cancer, like 85 years old. And then they used to complain, they're like, they stopped my mammogram at 75, now I've got it. So you really don't have an answer to it. So if you think the patient wants it, you, you should still get the mammogram done. So I know I could talk like, hours on this topic, but you know, um, I think you should get take, uh, take home points, talk to your doctor regarding your family, history of breast, colon, or endometrial cancer. Do all the age appropriate screen, you know, cancer screening because I see the difference. I see a difference in a woman who's coming to me with a one centimeter lump versus a, versus a woman who's coming with like metastatic breast cancer. So the way, you know, the prognosis, everything depends on that. And most of the small lumps are actually diagnosed by mammogram. Or, you know, when you're taking shower or, you know, you don't have to do the full blown, like, you know, like by the book breast examination, but pay attention. Breast awareness is a very big thing. Know your breasts. You know, it sounds funny, but know your breasts. So know how they look normally, like the size of the nipple, color of the nipple, you know, surrounding areola. Know your breasts. You know, and also know, you know, what is abnormal and what is normal. Like an inverted nipple. You always had good, nice puckered nipple, but now it's inverted. You know, color changes in your skin, nipple discharge, breast discharge. You know, like blood discharge. Those are the things you look for. So I think. You should all be aware of how your breast normally looks. And I think that's the most important taking point. And that's all I can say in eight minutes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kanal. How, how are we doing the time? Good. We don't have any time. So do we have time for uh, question and answer? So we take it in the end. So we don't have time. Uh, please pass the cards, or you can drop it right there. We will go through the question and answers. 
and we'll pick the best winner. Thank you. Thank you. you is it okay, the last panelist? I want to be the first person to end on time before time. So, um, you know, we're doctors around Hawaii, they were here, they told us primary care is important, you have to go to the doctor, you have to make sure that you are getting your, um, you know, getting your preventive care, getting all the screenings. Da -da, what, how do we access those resources? How do we get those services? I'm seeing the insurance talk, then make sure you're using it. Don't be like my husband, just go to insurance day and he never went to the doctor. So you, if you have insurance, you have benefits. So try to, try to, um, you know, to ask questions. And not say no. And get your benefits covered or something. You can always call the insurance company, and they can tell you, like, you know, what what's covered and what's not covered. So make sure you ask uh, those questions, eh? Because knowledge is powerful, and I think that's what we're trying to do here. Not empower, empower, empower. Like, what is empowerment? If you have knowledge, if you have information, then you can empower yourself. We don't have to wait for someone else to come empower ourselves, right? So, um, can you, uh, that, and I have, I'm gonna like, time to constrain my wobble, I'm trying to uh, say everything in my short time. Um, our goal is know your community, know the resources that are in the community, and make sure that you're, you, you're, you know, you're using it. Um, and you may have, you know, for example, you may not have insurance, I want you to know that there are resources available for you in the community. There are places like um, uh, there are places like federally qualified health clinics or any just for information you can go on the state website, you can get the information. Um I know uh, there are three uh, clinics here in Tarrant County, and I'm pretty percent sure there are some in Dallas County as well. Um, so yeah, if you don't have insurance right now, we've got to come down and further know what that looks like. There are resources available. Please ask the right questions, ask the right person, so that you can access these uh, resources. And they take charge of your own health. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Uh, I'm uh, so excited to end the program on time. And I'm asked to let this get. Yeah, we're we on time, guys. You know, we had so much to share. I really wish we could interact with you guys so you could go home with the answers. Since we put these health packages together, we want to give this to you. So I will have um, Raksha pick her winner. Um, I would like to invite Nitaji on stage. Um, I have something special for you. We can have volunteers take the gift to her so we don't spend much of time. You can hand over. Uh, Abhimaji, can you hand over the gift I to I actually want to show oh. to everybody, okay? Please remember to be awesome. Don't forget to be awesome. <laughs> now I'm going to pick uh, one, two, three, four, number four, the one in the uh, gray sweater. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a random pick. Oh. And everybody, you can pack and pass one of those pink bars. And the next one, I will pick the one with the pretty hat that the sparkles on. Very pretty. And then I will pick one from here uh, 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 with the flower on the hair. And I will pick one on the other side, the, the lady with the shawl, the pretty shawl. And of course, I cannot forget the guys. The lady with black gloves. How about the guys? Anybody wants to come in? Okay, Mr. Suresh <laughs> Mr. Talaji. Mr. Talaji is here. He's gone. And I will take the guy in burgundy shirt. And the, the guy standing there with the phone in his hand. And I would like to pick the people who put this event together, Mr. Suresh Poro, Mr. Manoj Siddho, and our MC. Do we have any? So let's give 
give it to him because he put the program together. Oh, he made yeah. it possible for us. And the last one goes to Sushan. Yes. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the program. Uh, we'll meet again. Thank you for putting this program together for us. Thank you. Thank so you so much. Thank 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 you so she traveled all the way from North Carolina for this event. So I'd like her to speak. Walini Okale from Kutai. And then, ma, Walini Maria Jime Bari Diego. So overall, Kari from Kupani Samiksha Gorde. She was a modern Puraskar Pisita. She was a recent Nobel Yomaya Modern Puraskar Kapta. Last five minutes, I want to stop silent. I would like to request you, please, 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 let's pay respect to Nilam Niharika Karki and Gopi Radhika Parasekha. Thank you so much. Thank you, Abhima. आह आयोजक संस्था इंडिया का संस्था है वहाँ वीडियो देखने का निवेदन क्या करने गौर जहाँ चुप मलाई इस अवसर पर दान करें को उपलब्ध ना है सर बहुत सुन्दर मलाई लागी रही कुछ और मौजूद कार्यक्रम में आउने नवाई को भाई अर्थात मलाई नॉन इंडिया को भाई मलाई धीरे ठुलो पुरा जीवन में घुमाऊंगी रह दीदी हर का जीवन का भोगाई हरों सुनने ही रहा था कि ये संपूर्ण शब्द हरों मेरो लागे प्रत्येक शब्द हरों उत्तर ना का शब्द मरे रहने चं और मेरो लेखन को लाई था पुरजा को किसे मरे रहने चं ना बोला दीदी रोए दिन बायो जिस दिन करे रहा हम रो बीते रंजित दिजो वो आपको आमा को बारे में बोली पढ़े को थी वाले बहुत लोग को करा नारी भरे जन्मिनो नमकता और कीरा भरे जन्मिनो जाती थी तो त्यो करा ले मलाई मेरो रिदे ले बीते संबंध छोयो मलाई धेरे ले हलचल मत चाहे मोहित्रा धेरे दुख भरी लागे जिससे करे रहा आप रोबंद तजी वह मेरो रातो साथी बनी हूँ ना वहाँ के जीवन को पूरा करता है, वहाँ झुकिया रहा, अर्थात वहाँ जन्मी ना, छोड़ा मने रहा, जोन बुआले मिठाई बांटने भायो, तो मेरे जीवन संगबन जाल के दिन मिलतो जुलतो था, मैं जो सुने का घटना हरुषान, छोड़ा पाए मने रहा, यू वो केरा जाने बाउ हरु, छोरी पाए को जाना ले करता है, क्यों कोटा � मौत जन्मे को पुराला जोड़े रहे रखी मौत गांव में पालपा को बोठाली बने थामा जन्मे को थी राम मौत जन्मी ना मौत बंदा अगर इन्हें मेरे दाई और दीदी जन्मी सब में भाग गयी हो राम मौत जन्मी ना मेरे आमा को साल ना बेको कारण कर दा तीन दिन समा साल ना बेको कारण कर दा मेरे आमा और जन तुम � just like Kitty got with you, one high and a silent side of the dance room. This one, one day, 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 साझा चीले कार्यक्रम का संचालन करें ना बार मैं ये कुछ तो करा जीवन में ये गौरसु वाले राती सके पची जस्ट लाइन उत्प्रेरणा अंतरिक रूप में उत्प्रेरणा को उत्तीर्ण महत्वपूर्ण अच्छा आप लोग उत्प्रेरित गौरव के लागे अतिरिक्त महत्वपूर्ण अच्छा ये करा मैं ये बुझे और लगातार हिनी रखियों अन्य प्रामो ये बुझे सही जगह सं कार्य कम चलाने में जाते परी पैनल डिस्कशन हम रोहित संग जोड़ी और कार्य का पैनल डिस्कशन हो रहा था व्यवसाय संग कार्य का पैनल डिस्कशन आ रहा है अभी अब अपना सरी लीडरशिप हम भूखे बने विषय का पैनल डिस्कशन हो कि सब ये सब ये हम रोल आगे अतिने ज्ञान बर्तन रहो किसको समाज में जब भी मेरा सम 
संस्था संचालन कर हमी व्यक्ति छो मू हजर हो कार्यक्रम धेरे नहीं सीक्त पर्च भागे क्योंकि आसन ग्रहण स्वागत मंतव्य अस पच्चीस गए सभापति महोदय प्रमुख अतिथि करते में हम समय व्यतीत होती हम एक मिनट को समय अर्क सुखद पक्ष के कार्यक्रम हाई हाई करें अर्थात निद्रा लगे कति बेला कार्यक्रम सकेला बस्तु हल भर अलगसम हल भरी बना कार्यक्रम को सफल पक्ष हो रहा हमें धेरे नई सीख सकिं भाई कुछ मैं लिखे रंत पर्दा मिमान यहाँ लीदी देखी धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ रही वहाँ ने पच्चीस समय तर हमी कार्यक्रम को अंतिम अंतिम में छो रतारों में बोल रखे क्योंकि मोदा अगड़ी मेरे पेशागत रूप से भन्न पर्दा म कार्यक्रम संचालक भारत अलग दौड़ी रखे यहाँ बुझ्न अलग गाँट भी भाई होगा रहा अलग प्रसंग जोड़ना भन्न भाई कुछ आज हमी नारीसंग जोड़े कुरा हम जोड़ी और मेरे म आज निपटाई को कारण मैं पुस्तक मध्य पुरस्कार प्राप्त भारत कार आज यहाँ निर्दाई मदर पुरस्कार योग मै को बारे में कहीं बोलना मैं सांतर्पिक ठाद क्योंकि हम नारी दिवस महिलासंग जोड़े कार्यक्रम करते हमें कति नहीं पढ़ी सकूँ भाग कस पढ़ बाकी उन्नीस सौ बीस को दशक में भोजपुर में जन्मे एकजा महिला जिसके जीवन का यावत घटना दुर्घटना भोग आज को दिन में तो नर्मदाजी ने भन्न भाई कस्ता कस्ता लाछना लग्न ते बेला बाल विवाह भाई व्यक्ति जसले जाए आपूला यातना सहन न सक घर छोड़े माइक जानूक थे दुईपटक रेसरो पटक भी वहाँ सामज चुनौती दीदी विवाह कर वहाँ के जीवन में सामज में बांचन को लगी वहाँ निके नठिन थी तर वहाँ ने जी सुखी सामज में लाछना पाए तपनी ते लाछना शक्ति में परिवर्तन करूँ तो शक्ति सामज परिवर्तन को लगी प्रयोग कर उन्नाइस सौ तिरहत्तर बा सामज मुक्ति को लगी वहाँ काम करू राम करते मैं एवटा कुछ यहाँ के अवगत करा चाहूँ हमी योग मया पैलो शब्द सुन योग मैला हे कस नारी मुक्ति को लगी मत काम कर महिला भर नबुझी दूँ वहाँ चाहे समग्र नारी बने सामज हो रज उत्थान को लगी वहाँ लग्नभक थी इस वहाँ लाज उत्थान को लगी लगे प्रथम महिला अग्रणी महिला हमें ससमान एक पटक बुझीदि भाई कुछ वहाँ यहाँ अवसर पुराव चाहूँ क्योंकि वहाँ के नारी मुक्ति को लगी मत काम कर सामज सब जोड़े हेरा फिर नारी मुक्ति को दास सती प्रथा उन्मन को महिला ने भी पढ़ना पाँच पर्व भाई कुछ करो बाल विवाह होने भाग विधवाला व्याह कर पा पाँन पर्व भाई मुद्दा आगे थोड़े इसका अलावा धेरे मुद्दा थोड़े भ्रष्टाचार होते सुशासन होने जस्ता अरु यावत मुद्दा भाग होना वहाँ नारी मुक्ति को लगी मत काम कर महिला होना रोक यहाँ मैं हमें ये कुरा कुरा पक्के नारी मुक्ति को पुरुष हमारा शत्रु होने अभिमान भी भाग सजी भी अवगत कर सके हम सब अनुभूत करने को हो पक्के पुरुष हम शत्रु होना हम बुआ पुरुष हो हम हजुरबा पुरुष हो हम छोरा पुरुष हो हम नाती पुरुष होने कसरी पुरुष हम शत्रु होने सकता इसका पुरुष हमारा सहयात्री हो मित्र हो तर यह भाई पुरुषसंग मैं के अनुरोध करना चाहूँ यदि नारी मुक्ति होने ते बेला तब को छोरी मुक्ति हो नारी मुक्ति होने तब को भांजी मुक्ति होता दीदी मुक्ति हो हृदयंगम कर भाई कुछ मनोध करना चाहूँ रही मैं कार्यक्रम को अवसर धन्यवाद कार्यक्रम सफलता को सब सब धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ हमारा अवसर पुराने तर समय का कारण सुन्न पाइएन म फिर परीक्षा में बात चाहूँ हम कार्यक्रम को अंतिम दौर पाई सकता छो ये अनुहार मैं बिहान नौ बजे देखे थे अल्लेम बसिदी भाई को हृदय देखि नई धीरे धीरे धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ यह कार्यक्रम हमारे स्पोन्सर को सहयोग बिना संभव थे म नाम लिंशु बस को मैं नाम लीन पाइन तर हमें बुकलेट में स्पोन्सर्स को नाम छापे सौ यहाँ साइड में हमें वहाँ को नाम प्ले कर सब स्पोन्सर्स हम हृदय देखने धन्यवाद दिन चाहौ हमी आर्टिफिशियल साइड अकोमोडेशन प्रोवाइड करनआरएल को सहयोग अ स्पोन्सर्स को सहयोग में नहीं संभव भैया तब हृदय देखे धन्यवाद इवेन मैनेजमेंट टीम फोटोग्राफी टीम भलेंटिर्स 
पत्रकार जीव हरु राबाई ने बताया उन्होंने भाई काम तो एक अतिथि सब पे पार्टी से पेंशन है मैं भी जा देखने आए जब संस्था का दावा बात चल रही बात ही ना जहाँ सो दो इस गेम शामिल है दो इस गेम शामिल है दो इस आतिश्य कलेक्शन पहिरन ले रैफल की प्रोवाइड करें आज तो अरे रैफल पर इतने समय न आनंद छाने को लागी पेंसिल्वेनिया बात से यो कार्यक्रम करना हूँ भाई को तो ये पंद्रह मिनट को प्रेजेंटेशन करी थी ना उस अनेरा रिक्वेस्ट कर रहे थे वो तो अलग दस मिनट का जान हो पायो माला आई वो सो बैड अबाउट इट वी फुल सो गिल्टी अबाउट इट सो दिस टाइप ऑफ वर्क करना को लागी वे आर गिविंग Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 